Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to have a really brief video and we're going to talk about a very useful control in C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms. And that is the numeric up down control. And you can see I've got one here. I've started up a default C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms solution. And I've got our default form one and I've just drag and dropped a numeric up down control. You can see in the toolbox, go to numeric up down and drag and drop that. And I've also got a label that I've drag and dropped. The numeric up down control, what does it do and why do we need it? Previously, we did a video on another control called a track bar. Here I'll drag and drop a track bar and you can see it's a horizontal and I'm going to go into the orientation and change that to vertical. And now I've got a vertical track bar. And the functionality of these two controls is kind of similar. It's basically the goal is to start from a minimum value and vary whatever parameter you want up to a maximum value in certain increments. And the track bar does that, and this also does that. However, the track bar is better applied when you've got a wide range of values because all you have to do is left click and drag to change the value. Here what you have to do is you have to click on one of these up or down buttons. Also, this track bar can take a lot more room and you can also label the different values. Here you have to kind of know what the increment is going to be. Here you can label the increments and the minimum and maximum and make it a little bit nicer. But again, you may not need that. This one is a little bit better if you've got a small range of variables you have to step through. And basically all you do is you, you click on the button, it gives you a new number within that range and you can grab that number and update your code. So again, these are really useful for varying parameters in the code you're writing, all the different algorithms, or even if you're trying to understand some aspects of your software, of your C-sharp or of your Windows controls. We showed how uh, Windows Forms charts can get kind of confusing. This is a great way if you don't understand how things are working, you can you know, put a variable and vary that using either the track bar or the numeric up down and see visually how things respond, how your chart changes, how your waveforms change, whatever. So really great way to get feedback to help you understand, you know, where your bugs are or how things work. So very useful. So how are we going to set this up? Well, the way this uh, numeric up down works is you have to set a minimum value. It starts out at the minimum and then as you vary it, it goes up to a maximum and it also has an increment very much like the track bar. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go over and set the minimum and maximum and increment. So over here we can see the minimum defaults at zero. We're going to leave that. The maximum we're going to set to one. It normally defaults to I think 100. So we have the maximum set at one and the increment I'm setting at 0 0.1. So there should be 10 steps from zero to one in steps of point one. So now you're going to need some way to be notified that the user has clicked one of these buttons. And to do that, we just double click on this control, this numeric up down, and it will jump to our code and it will have an event handler. Whenever that value is changed, you click one of the arrows, um, it will come to this event handler. And what we can do is we can say our label one dot text is whatever the value is at the time of the numeric up down, convert that to a string and put it in the text box. So let's run this and see what happens. So it starts out at zero, it goes to point one, two, three, four, and you may notice this isn't changing. It's not showing you the value. Um, we're, we're grabbing the correct value and putting it in the text box, point four, but here it's not updating. So something's going on. What could that be? Well, this is one of the gotchas with the numeric up down. If you select it, uh, you can scroll up here and you will see a property called decimal places. Presently, it's set at zero. That's why it's not showing the point one. It's only showing integer values. So what I can do is I can say, I can say one decimal point, decimal place, and now you can see it automatically updates to the minimum. So I can start this. And since the 
value hasn't changed, the label hasn't updated yet. It requires that you click on this and now it's changed, okay? So you gotta keep that in mind. The event handler only happens when this is changed. So we can go up three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, another way you can update this is have a system timer. So what you can do is you can go here and drag and drop a timer and also have an event handler for the timer. We'll copy this and paste it, comment that out. And when we start it up, we'll say timer one dot enabled equals true. And then we should be able to run this and it should update. I think it's set for hundred milliseconds, 10th of a second. So it's updating. So that's another way you can update this and make sure that it's also including the zero point. So now let's say instead of decimal numbers, I want this to go from zero to 10,000 in steps of a thousand. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to the minimum It's still zero. We'll go to the maximum and we'll set that to 10,000 and the increment we will set it to one, one, two, three. So now let's start this up and you can see it starts at zero and I hit it goes 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. And it's still got a decimal place of one. So we can change that to get rid of that. Now, another um, feature this has is this may be a little bit easier to view if we had a comma separator on the thousands. And that there's actually a property on this that you can set. So let's go here and go to thousands separator and we can say true and we will start it again, run it. And now you can see it's got a thousand separator up to 10,000. So that's the basics of the numeric up down. Very easy to do. And if you haven't, if you're not familiar with C sharp, I encourage you to look at our C Sharp uh, for beginners videos. We've got many videos on C Sharp and other engineering and science related videos. That's about it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.